So the election happened. And unless you live under a rock, you know that Trump won. Yeah, this puts a huge target on a lot of our backs. Not just the trans community, but many communities. Women, children, the entire LGBTQ, people of color. The list honestly goes on. What are we going to do about it? That's what a lot of our questions are right now. And it's still fresh. It still hurts. But honestly, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get louder. Our presence is only going to grow stronger. You see, everybody who voted for Trump thinks that this win is going to silence us and erase us. But honestly, it's only going to grow our presence that much more. You see, we can't be erased. Because no matter what laws begin to pass, no matter what rights get taken away, if he's even capable of doing that within his little four-year term, it doesn't erase who we are. Because trans people are people. It's something within us. It's something that can't be taken. So, I know this is a lot right now. And... A lot of what I'm saying may not really sound like I'm saying anything at the moment because it's so fresh, but I guess what kind of helps me and I want to help you guys realize is that we can't be erased. This is who we are. You can't just abolish an entire community. We exist. So I want everybody to feel what they feel for one. Because I've noticed too, especially on Facebook, I don't know if you guys have Facebook, I'm kind of old, I have Facebook, and a lot of people on Facebook, like it's the older generation, it's the people who don't know how to change their ways, it's the people who don't want to accept that different is out there, and so a lot of people are saying, oh, like, you guys need to calm down, you need to relax, you, you're being so dramatic, like, this isn't gonna happen, blah, 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 and it's like, it's easy for you to say because you're privileged. You don't have to experience or feel like your rights are ever going to be stripped away. You just get to exist no matter which president goes into office. I mean, your gas prices might be a little higher or you're, you're, you might pay more taxes on things. But aside from that, who you are isn't at risk. So, of course... It seems like, oh, nothing's going to happen. You're being dramatic. But that's that's not the case. So I do want you guys to know if you are feeling a certain way, you are entitled to feel that way. Do not let anybody tell you that you cannot feel right now. Especially if it's coming from someone who doesn't even experience what you're experiencing. You can feel sad. You can feel angry. You are entitled to your emotions. And shame on anyone that tries to take that from you. So, feel what you feel. And when you're ready, just know we have a fight to fight. Because we cannot be erased. I will show up on this platform every chance I can. And do what I've been doing even before Trump was in office. Because we were already fighting, so... We're just going to continue. And if anything, the one single benefit, I know it sounds crazy that I'm even saying there's a benefit to Trump being in office, but the one benefit is that we get to be loud, as loud as possible. We get to fight a fight even stronger than we ever had because now we are really, really fighting for something. So show up, be a voice. If you're not the type that wants to get on social media and just like talk about your whole transition and whatnot, you don't have to, but you could even just speak up for the community. If you live stealth, you could still speak up for the community. If you have to pretend to be a cisgender person and you live stealth and you don't want to talk about how you're trans, that's fine, but speak up for the community. I do that in a lot of cases. A lot of people don't know I'm trans in real life. 
But anytime I hear somebody talk about the trans community sideways, I speak up. Whenever I hear somebody talk about women's rights and what they should or shouldn't do with their body, I speak up. They don't know that I was born female. Which makes my voice that much more powerful. I can speak as a man for women's rights. So, again, I don't have all the answers. um, But I will say that what we should do now... Is speak up. Talk louder. Make a bigger presence. Because we are not going anywhere. And if you are feeling a certain type of way. And you have your emotions. You're feeling sad or you're feeling mad. You're entitled to that feeling. Don't let anybody tell you different. That's all I have to say for today's video. Kind of short, sweet, to the point. Just off the top of my head. And just kind of how I'm feeling. But um... It's going to be okay, and I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but it's going to be okay. Just keep your head up. Keep fighting the fight we've been fighting. Four years. We got four years to fight like hell. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.